recalled Central Park is fall. You tore your dress. What a mess. Have you ever thought what it would be like to have to go without a shower for several days or weeks or maybe even longer? That's what today's video is all about. Let's get started. Today I want to take a look at a product that campers and hikers and people that do uh, backcountry backpacking and things like that are very familiar with. And that is this Advanced Elements Summer Shower. You know, truthfully, there's a lot of fantasy in the preparedness world. I say there's a lot of fantasy in the preparedness world because it seems as though we like to migrate in our minds towards these total, absolute zombie apocalypse scenarios where we're all out running around with our backpacks on and our K-Bar knives hunting a scorpion for dinner and uh, distilling our own urine for something to drink. The reality of it is though there are a lot of potential scenarios that can and I believe will play out in our lives that don't go to that apocalyptic scenario every time. We could certainly see something like that, sure, but uh, think about power outages, our power grid being attacked, which we know is uh, had a lot of test runs done on it by nefarious people. Uh, earthquakes and other weather disasters that could disrupt your service in your town and your area for some length of time. These are all the things that I think we need to think about in our emergency preparedness plan. And a product like we're going to look at today, I think, could be a valuable addition to your tools and your equipment that could help you live a little bit more of a normal life in that scenario. Okay, here's the unit as it comes. They make several different sizes. This is the five gallon one. They make a two and a half gallon and a three gallon also. And it's a little bit more durable material than some of them that I've looked at. When I thought about looking at these things, adding to our preps, uh, I went to my local sporting goods store and, and I looked at some of these that were pretty junky, uh, pretty cheap, quite frankly. I did a little research online and Advanced Element seems to be the winner as far as durability and the quality of product that they make. Okay, there's not a lot to this, obviously. It's just a solar, uh, a bag with water that we're going to place out in the sun to heat up. The instructions for you simply tell us to unscrew the tethered cap right here. We're going to fill the reservoir with water, close the cap, place the shower on a flat surface, and direct sunlight with a clear window side up. When the desired temperature has been reached, hang the shower securely using a strong rope. Five gallons of water could be pretty heavy, so you're going to have to think about where you hang this thing up at, something that's strong enough to hold that much weight. And then it says to simply pull open the shower nozzle for easy showering. You know, wax on, wax off. Some of the features that Advanced Elements is talking about with their summer solar shower is they say it's premium quality. That does seem to have some truth to it, just based on the reviews that I've read. Uh, people talk about this particular company and brand uh, having a little bit better durability than a lot of these things. Velcro straps to hold the washcloth and soaps on. Uh, easy on off shower head that we just talked about. We've got an extra large filling cap, the reflective mirror that we talked about. Uh, pockets for soap and shampoos that you can hang right in here. It's talking about this water temperature gauge, but we're going to test the temperature here in a little bit. And it talks about uh, durable four layer construction. Let's get this thing filled up and we'll see how long it takes to get up to temperature. Okay, just so we have some kind of a base measurement to test our water temperature later in the bladder, I'm going to give the water coming out of the hose a quick temperature reading and see what we've got. It looks like about 73 degrees. And now we'll just fill the bladder up with water. Okay, if you don't fill this bladder all the way up, you'll have an air pocket. Um, when I first started, there was a bigger air pocket, so water wasn't touching our temperature gauge. I decided to go ahead and purge some of that out so that we get a more accurate reading on that, just to test to see how, how well that thing does. I've laid it on the ground out here with a clear plastic side facing up. We do have a little bit of cloud coverage today, however, so it'll be interesting to see uh, as that moves in and out, how long it takes for this thing to build up any temperature. The instructions tell us that the bag needs to sit outside for a few hours in the sun. I believe it's crucial that I post up right here and monitor the situation at least for a couple of hours. Okay, we're about two hours in of this sitting out in the sun, and I don't know that you'll be able to see it very well or not, but our temperature gauge is uh, lighting up 
between 98 and 104. Uh, I can feel the water in the bladder is getting warm, but if I swish it around a little bit, it will cool it down. So I've been doing that, and we'll let it sit for another hour or so and see what we end up with. Okay, it's been about three and a half hours. The gauge on the side here is showing 110 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but it's highlighted in green uh, right there. So let's pop this thing open now and see what our temperature gauge shows. It's reading about 104 degrees, so I think that'll be about as long as we're going to let this stuff cook out here in the sun. And now I'm going to set it up in the house and show you how I would use this thing. Okay, this is one simple, you know, redneck way to hang up the shower. If your drains were still functional in your home, this would work. I, now, to be fair, I didn't fill this thing all the way up with water. And in hindsight, I think that would have been the better way to do this so that there wasn't any air pockets between the sunlight and the water itself. But it's plenty warm to take a shower. To be fair, this thing is not completely full, five gallons of water. But I'm going to start the stopwatch and we're going to crack this valve open on this thing and see how long it takes or how long our shower could last. That water is definitely warm, uh, you know, hot really, not steaming hot, but it's definitely comfortable. Uh, for shower temperature. Okay, that was about a five minute shower and remember we weren't completely full uh, in the bladder. We also said a minute ago that it's not steaming hot and as we were draining the water we did notice steam rising up. Okay, the Advanced Elements Summer Shower is an outstanding product and one that I think makes an easy bridge from camping and outdoor lifestyle to emergency preparedness. Let me ask you, What's your plan to keep you from smelling like a funky wildebeest in a long-term power grid situation or anytime your hot water is not working at your house? If you like the information that we provided in today's video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And remember, get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive. And remember, that's probably a little bit too. No. Uh, in the state that I live in, power, uh, in the Comes with a small plastic mirror in case you want to look at yourself while you're showering. Light and see how long it takes to, I already said that.